CVS that we're never going to go to. The CVS we are never going we're, to. We're basically playing a game of chicken with each other of who will not, we will not go to the CVS. To we keep trying box. to pawn it off on the other person. We have so many heavy plans and only two glasses. <laughs> How will we fit all the plans in? Great. We're 30 minutes in the panel. Now we can talk about getting to the convention itself. You've walked in through the doors. You've got your damn badge. What the hell are you going to do? Get the schedule. Highlight and write down as a group, if you came as a team, what you came to see, the things you absolutely have to see. This panel, this panel sounds fantastic. You basically gotta, gotta march down. We need to see the first 10 minutes of the masquerade. Then we need to do something else with our lives to prove that we have them. Yes. So here's our backup plan, here's our third plan. If that doesn't work, go to the video game lounge. Know what you're gonna do, prioritize. Yeah. Write the schedule down on a separate note of paper, keep it in your wallet, program yeah. it into your phone. Or uh, use a guidebook. Note. Most phones now have the note option to let you know mm -hmm. when something is happening. If you promise a friend to go to their panel, program it as an alarm into your phone. Why are you ringing? Oh, shoot, the hentai panel. Oh, I'm, already, I'm automatically in line for that. I don't even remember getting in here. <laughs> this is good news. Plan ahead of time when and where you're gonna go to get food. This is what we're gonna spend most of the time talking about because that's gonna take all your time and most of your money that you wanna spend in the dealer's room. The debate between fast food or sit down, you need to meet at least two meals a day to prevent death. <laughs> and some snacks in the meantime. If you guys get separated, especially if anyone here's a parent, vote down with your kid what they're wearing, what show and character they're from, be able to pronounce it, because that <laughs> makes it so much easier to find them if the convention needs to find them. If someone's missing, they're not answering their phone, say, 4 p.m., here, usually the front or the info desk, find a place you all can find on the back of your hands and just know to meet up there. Batteries die. Really? Oh, but back to schedules for one quick moment. Any of who has a smartphone in here? Android or iPhone? If you have a Palm Pre or a Blackberry, put your hand down. That doesn't count. <laughs> there is an app called Guide Guidebook. Yes! Okay, never mind, you already know about it. Right. Know where you're going. If you have any questions, if you want to sign up for the masquerade, if you want to sign up for our competition, you need questions, go to the info desk and ask the important questions. Yes, dead memes. Critical con locations. Know where every bathroom is. Yes. This morning, we had the free breakfast at the hotel. I almost didn't make it to the panel. <laughs> Yeah. Know where the exit is. Well, I'm going to need to go to the bathroom after we're done with this. Know where the exit is. Know where your car is. The yeah. closest exit to the parking lot. So That's you're not wandering important. around outside in the summer in 103 degree heat waiting to get mugged by a homeless guy in Baltimore. <laughs> Just know where you're going. Plan it out. It takes three seconds to look at the map and know where you're going. Cosplay. Yay. Basics, I want to save you guys on, on money and time with, with your cosplays. There are other panels about... Um, cheaper alternatives for cosplay. This is not that panel. This is just what I've picked up hosting masquerades and working with friends. Collapsible double, duffel bag at the bottom of your book bag at the end of the month, at the end of the weekend. Flush it out, dump in your costume, get ready to either burn it or dry clean it. <laughs> clean it, iron it, store it between cons. Don't let your stank and sweat gestate. Don't let it evolve. It will become smarter than you. Remember, it has your sweat and your DNA. It's ready. It's basically a child. Quick blood substitute. Many people are wandering around covered in blood. Quickest substitute I found working in community theaters and haunted houses. Peanut butter, corn syrup, food dye. It's delicious, nutritious, and people can lick you. <laughs> that can be a good Don't thing. Don't let them do that. Well, yeah. Depends Passes on who you're with. Now, if you have a costume, you don't have the time or money to get it dry clean. Quickest way to eliminate odors, other than shoving it in the freezer, because cold air helps nullify and mute harsh smells. Cigarette smokers, that's why you pack everything that you, that you wear in the freezer. Spray bottle, equal parts vodka water and a little bit of Febreze, so nobody drinks it. Vodka and Febreze nullify smells. And the water stretches it out for a little bit longer. Spray that down, you're good to go. The emergency cosplay repair kit. Never underestimate the power of duct tape. Albaline is a very greasy but very cheap and effective makeup remover. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Like Baby wipes, okay. equally effective makeup remover. Also, it helps if you soil it yourself. Yeah. Bobby pins for your wig. Safety pins for whatever that collar is that's falling off, or your bikini, or what have you. Never underestimate the power of duct tape. Sewing kit, last minute, someone's always gonna need it. I promise you. 
at Kineticon. We saw Star Fox, and I said, forward, smash. So he did the leg in the air, rip. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks for showing us your ball, Star Fox. <laughs> yeah. Cotton balls, I'm not sure what they're really meant for. Bring them, they're light. Right. The most important part is food. There are two debates at this part. Two debates that we're gonna have. George and I are always under the impression of do we wanna sit down and allocate time, which anything within a three block radius is going to be full continuously. If it's a fast food mm -hmm. place, you're gonna be waiting a half an hour in line, grab your food, eat it on the go, and keep moving. Sit down restaurant, you're gonna have at least a ten to twenty minute wait. Then the kitchen's gonna be full, so you're gonna be waiting 40 minutes for your food. Your server might be swamped, so you might not see him for a while. Then you wait on the check, then you wait on paying, plus you're paying tip. But what you're also paying for is an extra meal. You don't have to eat everything in front of you, especially if you're at a larger restaurant. Your brain doesn't notify, your stomach doesn't notify your brain that you're full until 20 minutes after it's past that point. If you eat and you feel full, You've already eaten too much. You're going to be yeah. losing half that energy you're going to be getting from that through digestion. Just minor stuff to keep in track of your own biology. Bring the doggy bag. If you have a fridge in your hotel, how do you find that? Call the hotel ahead of time. Already save yourself the time. Bring them the doggy bag. You have lunch for tomorrow. You have dinner for tomorrow. If they mm -hmm. have a microwave, you're set. If they don't, like I said, bring a cooler. You have an ice dispenser. You have a cooler. Everything's fine by the morning. Food can go unrefrigerated for about two hours. After that, bacteria start having the a party to a polygamous ritualistic orgy. Yeah. You don't know what, you don't want to know what they can do to your stomach. Don't worry about that too much. Yeah. But then there's fast food. Fast food is inexpensive. It'll either clog you up or flush you out <laughs> at the worst possible time. <laughs> oh boy, finally got that plate mail on. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Leroy Jenkins! Leroy Jenkins! Leroy Jenkins! Leroy Jenkins! Obviously, for quality, you need two meals. Fast food can count as a meal. I obviously encourage something else, lighter snacking throughout the day, um, bringing dried fruit or bringing bag granola or bringing trail mix, bringing vegetable sticks. With vegetable sticks, slice up a bell pepper, slice up some, some broccoli, slice up uh, some yeah. carrots, some celery. You have no waste. Anything else you bring is gonna have a wrapper that you have to get rid of or a Ziploc bag you can throw out and then toss in a garbage can later. If you have fruit, you're gonna have the juices all over your fingers unless you brought hand sanitizer, unless you're close enough to a bathroom. You've got the seeds to deal with, you've got the skin to deal with. Vegetable stick, done. It's already done, it's already gone. You're still in line waiting for Bosch and all is better. Fast food places. The problem though with celery and carrots, there really aren't that many calories in them. You have to eat a lot to feel well. fuller, as opposed to a spoonful of peanut butter, which the, the, com which the complex uh, 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 proteins in that actually make you think you're full. So just a spoonful yeah. of peanut butter will actually stave off hunger for an hour or two. It's very effective. I've done this many a time. Good combination. Peanut butter on celery. Yes. Raising his ants on a log, bitches. <laughs> okay, fast food places will also give you condiments. In case you brought anything, they'll also... They'll also uh, you can eat ketchup. Coupons of the time. Not as a meal, but you know, it can go on top of the celery stick. It'll make a good snack. There's a lot of sugar in ketchup. It can, yeah. it can. Snacks and fall, like we said at the beginning, if you know you're bringing a car, grab a huge box um, wholesale of just granola or just goldfish. Something you're okay with eating for three days straight and sharing or not sharing, or throwing at children so that you can plan your escape. Pro, <laughs> pro tip. Have variety, because no matter how much you like goldfish, after two days, you're not going to want to eat any more goldfish. They will not be delicious. You will not go get fishes. You will not get fishes. You will not eat them every day. And your mom will say, get out of the house, you're 25, get a job. <laughs>